All right, today we're going to be doing a reptile quiz. I've got three lined up for today, and we're just going to go one, two, three, and get through all of them. Uh, we're going to see how much I actually do know about reptiles. Maybe I'll learn something that'll surprise me. Maybe you'll learn something. Anyway, we're, we're, it's going to be a fun time. All right, so this first reptile quiz is on zoo.com which is a really weird name for a website. Typically, zoos are named uh, after the exact zoo that they are, and not just zoo.com, but whatever. It says this quiz should be six minutes, and it's made by Emily Hugh. So uh, thank you, Emily, for this quiz. Um, and let's see how good it is. See how much you know about reptiles. So yeah, feel free to play along with me. Which reptile is shown in this image? Well, this is an alligator snapping turtle. Uh, it's not a box turtle. Box turtles are very small. Uh, they don't have huge gaping mouths. And gopher tortoises are uh, tortoises. And this is a turtle. That is probably not a good explanation, but that's what I'm going to roll with. Just says scroll tonight. If I click this, will it scroll for me? Wow. Which reptile is shown in this image? So this one is an emerald tree boa. So typically it mix up the emerald tree boa with the green tree python. Uh, they're very similar. They look very similar. And it's just hard for me to identify the two. They both do this curling behavior on uh, branches. I can't remember if they're both from South America or if one's from the old world and one's from the new world. That's uh, South America and Africa. Uh, but yes, this one's an emerald tree boa. And now we go to the next one. So what am, uh, what is shown here? So it's giving us the... Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Uh, I'm glad that it's multiple choice because I'm not so great with my snakes. But this is a colubrid. It's not venomous. doesn't have any pits. Um... It's a uh, how do I describe colubrids? Colubrids are king snakes, rat snakes, um, corn snakes. It's that family of uh, North American snakes. So this is probably a black rat snake because a Brazilian uh, rainbow boa has a lot more colors. They kind of have like circle circles and rings around them. And I don't know what this is, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a black rat snake. Correct. Oh, yeah, I haven't been checking. Have we been getting them all correct? Yeah, why am I even asking? I know I'm getting them correct. Okay, so now we're moving to this one. So this is obviously a blue tongue skink. Um, Variety-wise, I think it's a Maruki, the same one that uh, Marfa is, if you saw the previous video. I have two of these. This is a juvenile, very small. It's probably a pet because it's on a piece of uh, cork wood. But yes, it's a blue tongue skink. There's no way it's a pit viper. That's a snake and a rhinoceros iguana. Um, doesn't look like the very gray. Okay, so now we're looking at this. This is not a rattlesnake. Uh, obviously, it's flaring up like a cobra. So it's probably a cobra. It's not a Burmese python because that's a python they're very large not lean and they don't uh exhibit this behavior of flattening out their necks to make themselves appear larger now yeah this uh it's not to intimidate a prey uh this is a a defensive posture against predators because pretty much every animal if they're of a certain size will have predators and they all need uh, their own way to deal with them even king cobras Which are probably my favorite cobra. It's, they're fucking cool. Look at them. They're called king cobras because they eat other cobras. Bruh. Imagine eating other cobras. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this looks like an American alligator. Wow, this is... I, I, I was hoping that these uh, options would be a little bit easier. Uh, a little bit harder, like, oh, is this an American alligator or an American crocodile or a Nile crocodile? 
But no, this is for sure an American alligator. Uh, again, vipers are a poisonous snake. Not a snake. Four legs. And leopard geckos are about that big. Eh, that big. Very tiny. So, American alligator. Okay, so this one is a pignose turtle or a fly river turtle. Uh, they've got all flippers. They are probably the closest thing to a sea turtle in freshwater. Uh, spotted turtles, uh, they have hard shells. They are much smaller. And box turtles are typically a hybrid of land and uh, water turtle. And you can see the little pig nose. Oh, okay, this is a leaf tail gecko. You can't see the tail, so it's a little bit harder. But you can tell like from this, his little beard. It's actually a flap of skin on its chin. So when it lays its chin on uh, a tree it folds out like a uh, moss on the tree so it looks a lot like uh, lichen so yes this is a leaf tail gecko this is pancake tortoise uh, pancake tortoises are really cool animals they have flat shells and they like to climb and wedge themselves in between rocks cottonmouth is a snake uh, again not so sure what this one is as I said, when scared, pancake uh, tortoises run into cracks in rocks and they hold on tight with their front legs so prey can't pull them out. Same thing with uh, your mastics do. So this is some kind of uh, day gecko. You can tell it's a uh, day gecko because they have that green sheen and all day geckos have the same body type. And typically they have that uh, ring around their eyes like this. So yes, this is banded day gecko. A very pretty one. This is one of the prettier ones that I've seen. A uh, caiman is a crocodilian, and a viper, again, is a snake. This looks like, uh, oh yeah, this is a ball python. Very common in the pet trade, very popular. Uh, rattlesnake, obviously, no uh, tail, and rattlesnakes are don't have this uh, tropical camo pattern. And a uh, prairie king snake, um, again, the colubrid family, and they don't have uh, pits. So they have these pits across their nose, which um, goes, uh, I believe it's uh, for, called a Jacobson gland, and that's what allows them to sense heat in the uh, environment. Ball python. So this looks like a leopard gecko. A green iguana, big green lizard. Chinese crocodile lizard. Very cool. I love them. They're actually really cool animals. I would love to have one in the future, but... Not now. Uh, they're an amphibious... I thought they were called Chinese alligator. No, definitely crocodile lizard. But uh, they're an amphibious species of about... They get about the same size of leopard geckos, but they need a... They're amphibious, so they need a water uh, setup. Mm. They kind of look like uh, red-eyed crocodile skinks, but a, a little bit different. Okay, so this is Indian star tortoise. You can tell because they have the little star looking things in their shells. Com uh, common musk turtle is a turtle that only stays about four inches. Uh, very small. I don't know where they're native to. I believe the United States. Uh, gopher tortoise is a tortoise like this one. So now it's starting to get a little bit harder. This is tortoise. Uh, da -da -da. So this looks like a Galapagos or a radiated tortoise. Uh, so, South African bow spirit tortoise? I had never heard of that. Uh, maybe it's another name for a, a, um, a sulcata, maybe. But I'm not sure. Must turtles, very small, again, four inches. This is a huge beast of a turtle. This is a Galapagos tortoise. So, this is some kind of swift or fence lizard. So yeah, this is definitely a blue spiny lizard. I can't even tell that it's blue. I'm colorblind. But uh, spiny lizards are in the swift and fence lizard family. Uh, the swifts and uh, fence lizards span everywhere from uh, Costa Rica all the way up into New York uh, and all the way to the west coast in Australia. Just uh, various different species. Where I'm from in New York, uh, on the Hudson, sometimes you find eastern fence lizards. Which look kind of similar to this. Slightly different. Okay, so... 
not a rattlesnake. Again, has that tropical, probably a Burmese python. It's definitely not a green anaconda. Okay. Hmm. No. No. Yes. This is a spectacled caiman, uh, indigenous uh, to South America. Uh, a Malayan gharial has a very uh, skinny snout. Very skinny. Uh, so that's how I know it's not a gharial. And this is a lizard, not a crocodilian. Spectacled caiman. So this is a, a monitor. So it's probably a black tree monitor. Uh, Chuckwallas uh, are kind of like your mastics, except they're the New World variant. The, uh, the ones that you find in America, in our deserts. So Western Chuckwallas, they don't have a spiny tail, but they have a very similar body shape, and you find them in a very similar climate. And obviously we went over a blue tongue skink, and it's clearly not that. So it's a black tree monitor. Now this is a rattlesnake. Uh, looks like a diamondback rattlesnake. You can tell because it's got the diamonds on its back. And I'm not reading these before I look at it. Uh, these are a boa and a Burmese python. We saw a Burmese python already, so it can't be that. And it's not a boa because it's not a constrictor. Oh, a big monitor. So an adder is a snake. Don't know what this is. So it's got to be a crocodile monitor. Ooh, Fiji iguana. So this is uh, when I worked at Reptile uh, Expos. I asked uh, my friend um, who was my coworker there. I said, if you could have any reptile, any, which one would you want? And he picked this one. And it's easy to see why. They're gorgeous animals. I I've never seen them ever in the pet trade, though. But damn, look at that. Wow. Ooh, pretty. So, yeah, it's a retic, which is the world's longest snake. So, uh, the uh, green anaconda is the largest by girth and weight. This is the longest when, uh, so Theodore Roosevelt, uh, he held a competition to find the longest snake. And they found one of these, and I believe it was something insane. Like, it was like, I don't want to say 52 feet long, but that might be right. Let me Google it real quick. Nah, nah. Uh... But typically, on average, they get up to 22 feet. But this is the world's longest snake on record. Could be wrong about that Theodore Roosevelt thing, but this is the longest. So this looks like a savanna monitor. Uh, it's got a distinctive head shape. And it's got very large uh, scales. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so this is a gopher tortoise, for sure. Uh, I didn't really know what this was. I, I, it's obviously a tortoise, and it's got those big hands like this, which is probably why it's called a gopher tortoise. Ooh. Cayman. Turtle. Well, it's got to be a caiman. So this is a... Ooh, okay. I was going to say Lichianus. That's wrong. This is a... Wait, is it? It's just called a New Caledonia. Well, this is a Lichianus gecko. Uh, technically, the name that they're using, New Caledonian Gecko, is correct. However, it refers to many species of geckos from New Caledonia. It could apply to crested geckos. It could apply to um, gargoyle geckos. It could apply to uh, Chalua, 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 Chalua geckos. And it can apply to Lichianus geckos. This is a Lichianus gecko, which is the world's largest species of gecko. Very big, very friendly, and they're very expensive on the market. Ooh, what is this, a cottonmouth? So, yeah, there, this is a cottonmouth. It's got that white, distinctive mouth, which is why it's showing to you, which is why this is a western cottonmouth. Very venomous. They like to be found in waters, too. Oh, this is a green iguana. Very small one, though. Very small green iguana. Uh, iguana. What the hell am I saying? Anaconda. Iguana. Okay. This is a turtle. Mm, it's got to be this one. Again, I'm colorblind. I can't tell something. It's, it's a certain color. But I know these two, and it's not that those. This is a terrible image, but clearly it's a Cuban crocodile. 
So Cuban crocodiles, they don't get too big, but they're very aggressive and very smart. So I can't remember who it was. I think it was I was watching uh, Camp Kennan, and he was talking to some dude who, who has crocodiles, and he was like, "Yeah, a crocodile like, like if a Cuban crocodile is chasing you, it, it's the only species where if you, once you're out of the water, it will continue to chase you." Okay, so this is a Gila monster. Yep, or a Gila monster, as some people call it. Uh, they are a venomous species of lizard from North America. They say its bite is very similar to a uh, rattlesnake's bite. And if this video drags out too long, which we're sitting here at 15 minutes, so we're probably, instead of doing all three, going to make them three different videos, depending on how long the other ones are. I don't know, it said this would be six minutes. I guess if you're going quickly and not really thinking about it. So yeah, this is uh, not a crocodile skink, uh, not a viper, it's got to be a dwarf caiman. Even though for a dwarf caiman, this is a juvenile. Dwarf caiman still get about four feet. Oh, pretty. So this is a spotted turtle. I believe they're from North America. Uh, could be wrong. Does it say where they're from? No. No. Or I believe they're from North America, and they're typically found in very shallow water, uh, in, and they kind of nestle themselves into like the muddy bottom. So this is a tortoise, a star tortoise, leopard tortoise. So this is a leopard tortoise. Very cute. Very, uh, this baby. Very cute. So this is a Brazilian rainbow boa. Uh, this is a gario. Uh, kind of looks like a false gario, but it's a real gario. Uh, again, you can tell it's a gario. Very slender snout, because they typically uh, stick to catching fish. Okay, so this is a venomous snake, uh, probably a viper. You can tell because it's got that big, uh, these are called pits. Uh, it's areas in the mouth where the venom is stored. So a viper. Oh, no, it's a rattlesnake. Oh, this is the first one I got wrong. I could have sworn. I'm disappointed in myself. Should have told it's not a very tropical color. Most vipers are. <sighs> Hopefully we don't get any others wrong. Okay. Box turtle. Okay. This is a map turtle. This is a Herman's tortoise. I am wrong because that's not one of the options. So it is an Egyptian tortoise. Ooh, it looks almost looks like a dog. So this is a Chinese alligator. Oh, at least cute little boys. Uh, so this ornate box turtle. Uh, I don't think so. I have a, an ornate box turtle. This is so cute. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, he's eating a, a cuttle bone, which is um, it's made a, it's a bone of a cuttlefish, and it's just pure calcium, pretty much. And uh, you, they use it a lot in the pet trade. They'll give it to birds, reptiles, and other things. And if they need a little bit extra calcium, they'll gnaw on it. So this is a tortoise. So it's got to be this one. So yeah, this is a soft shell turtle. So, it's this. They're from Florida. Very cool. They uh, typically like to bury themselves into the bottom of mud and sand. And then you'll, they'll use this little tippy long nose. And they have very long necks. And they'll stick it, their neck all the way up to the surface while they're still buried. Oh my god, look at the little guy. He's so cute. Look at him. So, this looks like an ornate box turtle. I could be wrong. It's definitely not a radiated tortoise. It might be a big head turtle. But I'm putting all my eggs in my basket. Yes. 
Uh, there's different species of ornate box turtles because uh, they're found in so many different places in the world. There's box turtle, ornate box turtles in Florida. There's ornate box turtles in, uh, in northern bits of the United States. Ornate box turtles in China. Everywhere. They're quite a common species. They do really well. Whoa, whoa, wee woo. Look at these guys. Now, these are really cool animals. They have that Euromastic's tail, but it goes all the way up their body. So they're probably in the Agama family. Uh, same family as uh, Bearded Dragons and Euromastics. But damn, they look real cool. So this is probably this one. A Warren, Warren's Girdled Lizards. Wow, look at them. It reminds me a lot of... um. Uh, give me one second. I was going to go get my painted Agama, but he doesn't want to cooperate right now. So I'm going to leave him be because I don't want to stress him out. But he looks similar to these guys. But he's from Africa, and I don't know where these guys are from. Oh, we did good. We did 98%. We are a true expert. We did it. We're so cool. Yeah, this is going to be uh, the first of these uh, quiz videos because this one took so long even though I said it would take six uh, minutes again uh thank you for uh to uh, zoo.com and uh, Emily Hugh for making this quiz for us very cool thank you very much and uh, I hope everyone had a good day I hope you had a good time if you watched this and uh yeah uh, subscribe if you want more of these because uh, I got Two more uh, queued up.